Okay, I just wanted to do a quick demo as to how I would set up a document library to handle things like tags and other kinds of filtering. Um, so I'm going to just take this. This is a demonstration of kind of a, a typical folder structure in a document library, very much laid out the way that uh, we would imagine it. Um, being just like a regular directory. But we want to start using tags and make those more effective. So here's how we would do that. Now I've got a bunch of sample images in here. They're not of anything at all other than just a picture of a computer. But we're going to pretend that this is uh, Basketball Seniors Night. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is actually move all of these to the main directory, the root directory of this document library. Uh, currently they're nested three layers deep in this folder, but we want to actually take Basketball Seniors Night and put it down to the root. So let's copy to, and we're going to go to the photo library itself, and we're just going to say copy here. Should copy 16 images all into that root directory. Um, so. We've got all of those images here now. And you'll see I've got a couple of uh, tags already in there and year information. So let's go ahead and edit in grid view. And I'm gonna add the year 2022. And we'll just go ahead and populate all of these with that year. Now let's add maybe some other information here. I'm going to add a text column and I'm going to call this event name. And that'll be a single line of text, very simple. And this is basketball seniors night. Okay, oh, I missed some columns here. The user interface sometimes can be a little bit tricky with lists, but we are going to overlook that because it is incredibly useful. Now, I am not gonna delete these folders, but I would delete these folders. Um, however, let's just imagine for right now that those are deleted. Now, one other thing that doesn't look good in this view is we can't see the image itself. So we can add a column in a document library that's just an image column, and we're gonna call it thumbnail. And we don't need to give it any other settings. And once we exit grid view, we've got all of this stuff set up for us. Now, we're still showing the name, we can actually hide this name column. And if we wanted to, we could hide this type. Next up, I'm gonna rearrange these columns here. I'd like the thumbnail to be at the very first column. And I just do that by dragging and dropping. And the last thing I want to do just to kind of spruce this up a little bit more um, optionally is we can actually format these columns in a like a gallery view. Now we'll do that. I'm just going to click on any column, column settings, format this column. And if we go into a format view, I don't want to change the column, but I'll go to format view. I can expand this a little bit. Format view, choose layout gallery and this allows us to edit the card now remember imagine these folders aren't here those can be deleted uh, once we organize these images a little bit more i'm going to edit this card i'm going to hide that thumbnail we created and then we can actually change what else shows on here maybe we just want the image itself um, if we have like maybe the year in there, we can actually toggle whether it shows the column name. Here it's showing year 2022. Maybe it's just, I can figure it out from just the number itself. Um, maybe I will put this tags back in there. 
Um, and then we've got a more kind of gallery look out here. I'm going to cancel this for right now. We're going to just go back, list view here. Um, I'm going to save view as all documents. And let's jump over to the web parts to how we can show this. Okay, let's add a couple of web parts here. The first thing I'm going to do is let's add the document library web part. And these are all, and I'm going to select photo library here. These are out of the box web parts. Um, we don't need to really do much uh, else to them. I'm going to put it back on the list view and jump into document library, photo library, all documents. And we're just in the main and we're going to go over to dynamic filtering. Toggle it on and you'll see I can't select anything here. But what we can do, again, going back here, um, I don't know why it's not showing that thumbnail. I'll figure that out in a minute. Uh, let's add another list and just call it list image filters. I've already created this list. It's got three tags in it. And what it's going to allow us to do is come back over to the document library, dynamic filtering, and you'll see now I can actually dynamically filter from what I select in that list. So let's go to image filters. The tag column in the photo library is going to match the tag column in that list. So let's apply that. And let's see if any of this works, right? So we should actually see sports when I select sports. There we go. When I select cap, I should see the caps. Uh, if I choose experimental, nothing, because I didn't put any experimental in there. Experiential, and then assembly. So now I can actually start to uh, modify what is in there. Now, um, the actually displaying the thumbnails might be another little tweak, but I think that is enough for this video. Play around with these settings. There are a number of different ways uh, to do it. Um, I'm going to attach a link to some of the documentation here for dynamic list filtering, which is this right here. You can actually get there by clicking on learn more dynamic filtering. That's a, a quick little demo of how to make this happen. Cheers.